this video is going to share with you that the flight experience with Asiana from Singapore to uh, Korea, Incheon, and I in Seoul. Uh, this will be a flying with the 350 business class. So if you are taking a taxi or anything, uh, alight at door 7 and then go to row number 9. It's right over here. Oh, uh, it's not really open for check-in yet. So it's only open like uh, 3 hours before. So about like 20 more minutes. Uh, this video share with you that the, the lounge, the seat, the food, the amenity, arrival, baggage claim, and then also the flight experience. I remember there's an early check-in counter. So it's just right at the last row. Early check-in will be open, I think, uh, six hours before, right, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So boarding at like 10.20. And then I can uh, check in early right over here. For info that the early check-in open at 3 p.m. right over here and uh, not for group booking to check in more than seven pack. And then uh, with no ticket being issue or this. Okay, perfect. I'm going to get my ticket and then go to the lounge. If you are flying with Asiana, Terminal 3, then uh, you are invited to the Silver Chris Lounge. So turn left once you are clear the immigration. Uh, if you want to buy some souvenir, you can uh, buy some of uh, souvenir over here. Spend more uh, sing dollar over here. Here is my seat and then this is where you can get all your wine and alcohol. Uh, they have a draft beer machine right over there. Heineken Tiger beer and uh, red wines and white wine. Two reds and two white. And uh, also have two live station. Today the Hokkien Mee is amazing, really really good. Then uh, they have one Chinese dessert, the soupy dessert like this. But try the Hokkien Mee, Hokkien Mee is really good. That's a coffee and tea stations. Then uh, all the hot food and then uh, the rendang is good. The dinner is amazing, I quite like it. And this is the dim sum vegetarian and the Indian station. And uh, this is the laksa, laksa must try and the misoto. And there's a new thing, it's the ice cream. I never see the ice cream before. Sushi, dessert, bread, gluten-free corner. Three different types of the ice cream. And then uh, some of the dessert. Cold noodle and uh, cut fruits and salad. So the toilet, if there's a shower facility on the left, and uh, I'm going to the bar for one drink and I will go to the boarding gate. So uh, you go all the way to the bar is over there. In the morning, there's a barista serve coffee. And then uh, if you want a quiet corner, you can come right this corner because uh, there's no much of food right over here. Then I uh, get a drink, you can go. So here is a menu. So let's see what should I get. I'm going to get a Negroni before I go. So I changed my mind to change to the Bloody Mary. So I'm going to show you what you can get over here. The water, the beer. I smell someone smoke here though. I think it's near to the smoking area. There are some sandwiches, cut fruit, coffee. And uh, also, oh, the food here looks slightly different though. It's more like a bar food. Damn, I should come over here and enjoy the food here. It's a completely different thing now. Okay, I'm happy to find out like, ah, uh, so next time when I come over here, I can just like uh, come here and just take the bar food. They have muscle, meatball, popcorn chicken. Amazing. Okay, and uh, oh, they even have some kui kui. So yeah, this will be a place that I would like to come back next time. Today, the gate, it's a little bit far at B9, so it's a long walk. So I strongly recommend you to check the boarding gate before you plan your thing. So I have about 20 minutes before the boarding. I will try to rush over. In the boarding room, has got nothing. It's only the 
hot water, cold water and drinking station and uh, business class at the door A and economy at the door B. So I'm gonna queue right over here now, just uh, near to the drinking station. I think it's time for boarding. So it's a little bit of delay for the boarding, but should be able to depart on time. So let's see uh, how the uh, boarding call will be. I believe that the announcement will be made shortly. The staff will actually just call out for boarding. So if you are boarding for the business class, you have to turn left right over here and then to, uh, to your seat. I'm going to show you the 350 seat in a bit. So uh, the cabin crews are standby. It's quite good because I can see that they actually uh, pick out their head and then check out the passengers are boarding or not here is my seat uh, mine is a window seat which is a uh, quite a nice one and then uh, there's a middle seat right over here so on your seat you get the flight magazine then the headphones right over here i'm going to show you headphone in a little bit and also the sleeper is right here i can see the reading lights here the headphone plug is here then the usb port and the seat i think this is a one click button that to uh, set the seat straight and you get this uh, fluffy uh, pillow here <laughs> very thin blanket here it's a three pin three point seat belt okay let me take a seat first oh wow the seat is very comfortable it's very soft so on the seat right over here I'm not sure what it is for but I can see the power plug is here I think maybe that uh, it will slide down when you put on the flat bed. And the seat controls are here, recline, the oh, position move forward and backward and then the recline the seat and then the lump support and then the lump support height. Uh, sit up straight position, I think this button should be same with this one. And then the lounge position and the flat bed. And here is a remote control, quite similar with most of the aircraft. Um, here is the tray dining, dining. just flip out like this. It's quite good because uh, it's quite easy for me to go out. If I have a foot with me, I can slide like this. It's very cool design. I like it very much. And the seat is just like this. You can't really uh, recline the seat. But that's a good thing is that uh, you can put your shoe right there. And then the space here, it looks quite big. I'm quite happy with the legs room space though. So, uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> that is about the seat. Very cool things that the cabin crew actually pass you the pen and the arrival card uh, upon on board. I think this is a very good gesture. I like it very much. Before I fill the arrival card, the cabin crew actually pass a very cute cups of the champagne. It's really, really cute size. I guess the whole business class only have one toilet, I think. So over here, you get the baby bassinet change counter, then the L'Occitane lotions, and then the L'Occitane, what is this? Purify home. I think it's a fragrance. Oh, it smells quite nice. Then the mouthwash, then the hair comb toothbrush oh the toothbrush looks quite good then the cup the facial tower the oh <laughs> okay uh hand tower facial tower and then the basin is quite big it's wireless i quite like it and what is this oh <laughs> okay the amenity is quite simple i just tried the slipper uh it's actually not too bad quite comfortable and uh, their pillow is quite fluffy but I usually I don't use pillow let me try the blanket uh, the flight is a little bit stuffy so I'm quite happy that I have my fan with me so at least it'll keep me more comfortable maybe I can just tell the cabin crew later that it's warm um, oh. I found out that in this business class, there's no uh, storage compartment. The only storage compartment I have is a very tiny uh, space that for me to put my password and power bank and my phone. So this is a regular, very, very thin blanket. If you're a person that uh, can't take the cold, I don't think that this blanket will help. But uh, yeah, 
maybe it will help to uh, prevent the dirt from the soup that you have <laughs> so I will I think they are going to serve the food in a bit uh, they are taking the order now so I will share with you that what you can order for your food then uh, the lounge position the flat bed and the 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 seat yeah. I just have a look of the menu <laughs> It's a little bit boring So uh, this is what you can have for your meal from Singapore to Seoul First page will be in uh, Korean And then the second page will be the menu in English So you can have two options One is in Western food uh, Started with the uh, salad Vegetable salad <laughs> So yeah, tooth salad <laughs> Then uh, you can have the pasta or the braised chicken Then you have the cheese, uh, tiramisu, coffee or tea Then the Korean one You'll be able to get the bibimbap <laughs> I think it's uh, always the same My last uh, flight with Asiana was like 6 or 7 years ago um, It's always a bibimbap So uh, hmm. I am going to skip that So if you choose a bibimbap You get the uh, Cucumber with beef, egg and paprika Then the bibimbap of course It's a very boring uh, Rice with a lot of vegetable mix With a very fragrant sesame oil This will be the fresh food Beet jelly with chestnut and deep fried sea Sweet rice cake <laughs> Sounds weird then that's a way to teach you how to enjoy the bim bim bap. And then you got a few empty pages. <laughs> okay, so here comes the drinks menu. Uh, reasonable to me. So the welcome message. Then uh, uh, the Campari or the medium dry sherry sandiment. I never seen this before though. Then the spirit you get the uh, three types of whiskey, one vodka and one gin. Then the brandy from the Remy Martin and the Bailey Irish cream. Uh, and then uh, Heineken and the cast beer. Non-alcoholic beverages you get orange juice, but apple juice, tomato juice, pineapple juice, guava juice, Coca-Cola, Coke Zero, Sprite, ah uh, Sprite, right? <laughs> Sprite and ginger ale. And the champagne they are serving the high sick monopole blue top root. I had that for the welcome drink just now. It's just not what really I like. It is very very sweet. And then uh Chardonnay Sauvignon Blanc. Then there's uh, I never tried that before. <laughs> Tarazas Reserve Malbec. I never tried that before. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc and the uh, Taylor Badia's Pot Then you can have the coffee, decaf coffee, espresso, cappuccino, cafe latte, black tea, a grey tea, chamomile tea, green tea and the ginseng tea I will definitely try the ginseng tea Now I'm going to show you the in-flight entertainment Connecti Connectivity, movie, TV, shopping and about Asiana Oh, why? Hello? Okay Then uh, music, games, ASEAN little travel And uh, that's actually a small little uh, shortcut So if you go to this one You can listen to the music like K-pop, Western pop <laughs> Korean traditional, Korean performers, jazz, blue, Asian pops, all kinds of music Then uh, these are the live stream I guess then, uh, hang on, let me try the setting first For the live TV, you get the documentary, the culture, those K-pop thing I think the soap drama, for those that are K-pop lover, you're gonna love it Let's try, check out the, eh, hang on, uh, K-drama <laughs> Okay, my dear uh, series or this thing Okay Never mind. Then go back to the movies. You get the Hollywood favorite Disney classic, Korean, Asian, European, and family. Uh, I'm flying on 2024 April. Uh, it's quite updated to me. I think it's reasonable, acceptable to me. Most of the movie I have not watched yet. Or those are I'm not really into movies now. Uh, Disney. 
Oh, so you have a uh, three Disney movie, uh, Asians. <laughs> I have never seen any of that, and uh, European. Yeah. Then over here, I'm not sure what is this because that uh, when I tap on that, it never really work. Yeah. So maybe it need. Oh yeah, it actually needs some time to load. Then uh, it will be the flight map or the flight route. So I am actually how far am I? Still a long distance. Uh, yeah, it's about seven hours. Eh, five hour flight because that's a time zone different. Yeah, five and a half, five hour and thirty minutes. So it will show all this thing uh, in a different languages and auto play flight preview. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It's quite uh useful. See, I am sure there's a Wi-Fi. I'm gonna show you how the Wi-Fi works in a bit. Here's a headphone. Uh, it's wrapped nicely like this. Then uh, I had the. Uh, special cushion protection it's called Piaton I have never heard of this brand uh, it looks like a basic noise cancelling headphone I'm not gonna use it like usually I never really uh, use the headphone uh, on board it is still really really warm uh, the cabin crew asked me to change clothing <laughs> Even that the passengers that next to me, they were saying that very hot, very hot. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you the seat uh, different. So now I'm moving the seat forward to me. This is a very cool gesture for kids because uh, if they're going to dine, the tray is not near to them. It can like have the seat near to the tray table. And uh, I'm going to have the lounge position now. I can smell the food come from Gally now. Okay, uh, the lounge position is still acceptable. It can have a very good recline, but uh, it's not really comfortable to on the eye level with the movie. So let me go to the flat bit now. Oh, so be careful that um, when you have anything right over here. When you recline to the flat bed, that thing will actually go down and it, your item might be like crash. Okay, here is a flat bed. I think not too bad but not much of privacy because that uh I can still see people passing by, people can still see my face. I got the seat is near to the window seat, but those have the seat just right at the outside is fully exposed everything of yourself so let me uh, bring the camera over to show you a little bit this is my view when I lie down uh, you can see really not much of privacy but I have a pretty good legs room my legs can open a little bit wide I'm quite happy with this it's just like uh, not for privacy okay so um, okay I was trying to do my video and the cabin crew just put the tray set up even though I have my camera on the top. So that's how the cabin crew will serve the food. <laughs> that's a little bit weird to me. This is the appetizer and uh, it comes with the uh, salad and salad. <laughs> so I'm going to try the Sauvignon first. It's very sweet. I think maybe uh, the Korean loves sweeter 
like alcohol, maybe. Um, let me squeeze in the lemon. I'll let you know whether it's tasty or not. Oh, I see there's another dressing for this salad and uh, another thing for this salad. After the uh, appetizer serving, the cafe crew also walk around with the bread of the basket to check with you whether would you like to try other kinds of bread at the chia butter and the soft roll. So uh, let me try the fish first. <gasps> wow, it is beautifully prepared. And it's so cold. Not my liking. They are a little bit rushed, so when they're passing by, they saw I finished the appetizer they'll clear it i thought that wow that's quite nice then i shifted my salad bowl here and then like within a minute they delivered this uh, braised chicken uh with rice for me uh hang on give me a minute i think the, they are a little bit too rushed i guess uh, anyway the soft bun is cracky and crispy the Chapiata is chapiata is very tasty. I'm going to try the braised chicken now. Oh my god, it smells very spicy though. Okay, um this braised chicken Although it's called as a Western food, but I have to warn any of you that are watching this video, you are not Asian. It's gonna be spicy for you. <laughs> it's even it's spicy for me. So uh, that's another thing that you can order. <laughs> Will be uh, let me see uh, the pasta, the prawn pasta. Uh, yeah, I think the braised chicken. It's gonna be too spicy for the non Asian. Yeah. yeah, let me enjoy my food now. I think it's a little bit weird. They only have forks. I think they are adapt to the Spain culture. You eat rice or food <laughs> with only forks. I I think they're supposed to give a spoon for rice, right? So uh, if you're not comfortable to have your uh, food with the spot you have to call the cabin crew to get a spoon for you so after the main course you have cheese it looks beautifully presented and uh, I'm very lucky that uh, when the cabin crew cleared the tree I asked for pot it's gonna be matched for my cheese uh, although that their yeah, wine might not be good yeah so pot will be better choice I'm still quite full so I'm going to check out how the Wi-Fi work <sighs> so uh, this is a price for the Wi-Fi I am quite surprised that on this day uh, flying in business class you still have to pay for the internet so the rate will be 11 and 95 I think US dollar per hour 16.95 for three hour and 21.95 for the entire flight that is a little bit pricey to me now so uh, let me tap inside and then see how it goes so once you tap inside it will show you that service available and then take some time to load a little bit and it's still loading so uh, it turned to a black screen now then let me see then you can choose a plan 
one hour, three hour flight. Oh, the coupon. So, uh, maybe I can check with the cabin crew see whether is that the coupon is means for the business class passenger to have a free internet. I want to share with you something very funny. I just uh, tell the cabin crew that this one, and then like she just say, but I never ask a question, and she just say charge, charge. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, it's chargeable for the passenger flying with us and like with the internet uh, access. <laughs> Her face was hilarious. I I just like this charge, charge. <laughs> hilarious. After the cheese will be the dessert. Looks like this. The cabin crew that quite professionally asked me would I like to have like coffee or tea uh, to go with the dessert but dessert is here already <laughs> so let me try the tiramisu something mm. it is not what I like Oreo tiramisu yeah I think I was just uh, have a few bite and I will just send it back. <laughs> yeah. Um, halfway the main course, I can feel that the light is like dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And when I have my second scoop of my dessert, I feel it dimmer another level. <laughs> so it will let you know that it's time to sleep. I think the coffee is brewed from a coffee machine. I smell very nice. Mm. The coffee has a very good uh, standard. I like the coffee and I also ask for the ginseng tea. Well, for the ginseng tea, you can uh, have it with or without honey. I'm going to try without the honey first. Uh, I'm Chinese, I know ginseng a little bit. For my age, I'm a middle-aged person, so I know a little bit of ginseng. If you ask the young Chinese, I don't think they know ginseng much. Oh, it's actually a good one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that uh, you have to trust the Korean about the ginseng. They have really, really good ginseng all the time, but this is a very good ginseng tea. Uh, if you are going to try the ginseng tea, I will recommend you to check with your doctor first uh, in case you are having, having any medication. Uh, some of the medication might not be suitable to drink with uh, or after uh, uh, the, the, the ginseng tea. So make sure you check uh, it, because it's kind of the herbs. So it might not be good for you if you are taking any uh, medication. So after all this, uh, the pot, the coffee, gin and tea, I'm going for my beauty nap. Then I will share with you whether they have a refreshment or not. There is a second toilet near to the cockpit. Uh, slightly narrow, but you still have this uh, <laughs> uh, seat for you to sit down, but there's no diaper change. Uh, same thing, you get a comb, you get the mouse wash, you get the toothbrush lotions and this I have still no idea what it is though I don't have the English thing uh, at the back it should be a away miss it sounds like a fragrance yeah and uh, uh, the seatbelt sign is always on since the uh, meal servings and then a hanger here uh, hand towel, facial towel yep all this very simple toilet right at the behind the cockpit landed safe and uh, this uh, drawing is very cute so at the uh, after you pass by the arrow bridge you will see where is your baggage claim area and the uh, directions to the arrival hall I really like this one though, it's like really cute. So I think I will not able to uh, take any video at the front. 
Uh, if you are having any transfer flight, you have to turn right over here. And the uh, toilet is just uh, like 300 meters away. So, oh, people are running to the security. I guess I should do so. I've queued for about one and a half hour. Then uh, finally at the baggage claim area. Uh, yeah, it looks like this is super long queue. So the very first thing you need to do is like go to the toilet if you cannot wait and uh, then go for the immigrations. I can see only one person is waiting right over there. Uh, probably I am the first foreigner to uh, come to collect my baggage. And here is my baggage. Now at the uh, arrival hall. Uh, oh, there are dogs over there. That's cute. And the nursery room right over there. I have to look for the place to take the train it should be on the right side to conclude the flight is very average flight the business class is almost a half price for my other airline and then uh, very very basic they don't even have the amenity back for overnight flight then the cabin crew only one uh, can speak slightly better English and the rest like still have a little bit of uh, issue to communicate with them uh, the flight is very warm um, very lucky that even those that, uh, I, I, very lucky that I had a fence because that, uh, during the arrival time landing time it was really warm so and there's also no express lane for the business passengers business class passenger to clear the immigrations so yeah I think um, it's worth the, the price to have a good seat uh, can go to the lounge in Singapore Airlines and then uh, I catch like two two hour plus sleep and then it's still better not too bad the USB port in most of the seat is not working not uh, not able to charge so I would strongly recommend you to bring a adapter to uh, use a power plug to charge your devices then the cabin crew just said, hmm, not, nothing I can do. <laughs> like, uh, they didn't even want to change the seat or like try other seat for me. So yeah, I will say that uh, what you pay and what you get. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. Goodbye.